Hey everybody, 안녕하세요. This is Hazy and Point Info News bringing you today another new and exciting project. We will be talking about the OEL or Open Enterprise Logistics Foundation. The OEL Foundation creates a logistics database using blockchain technology. Let's get into how the OEL Foundation works. The OEL Foundation through blockchain technology will bind all transport registration and archives by smart contracts and that will impede the manipulation of any data. In addition, a new platform will appear that will offer cargo and services both to its members as well as those directly connected to this industry. Through the uses of a protocol, there will be a better understanding of the infrastructure of a company, its terms and policies, the techniques, cargo and services. The layer established by OEL architecture would create the platform OEL Logistics, which would own instruments, architecture frameworks such as smart contracts, dashboard, etc., ORL protocol, and OEL network. Let's get into the problems OEL addresses. Across several markets, a large part of transportation logistics has always been managed through intermediaries that would offer services of subletting. Thus, for example, when a truck of clothes would enter a town in Indonesia, it means the cargo from the vehicle has already passed through two or three subcontractors for the manipulation of the cargo. The person doing the actual delivery to the receiver at the end of the resupplying chain would most probably be the owner of the truck. These transporters usually don't have informatic systems for registering the details of the delivery and is based on a manual process, thus lacking an integrated platform which holds all the detail of the shipment from sender to receiver. It is necessary to write these details on paper which slows down the payment process for all the parties involved and proof of payment are recorded on paper which takes about 10 days within the emerging market where the sender is not able to bill the retail and the transport cannot bill the sender. What the OEL architecture does to solve all that is offer a practical alternative to this issue through developing of a logistics solution for the supplier chains concentrating on the management of the transports. Through the implementation of a system based on blockchain technology, details can be seen in real time during the shipment. The transparency and credibility offered through the implementation of this technology would eliminate any dispute about the integrity and validity of data. In the same time, through the use of smart contracts, payments will be done in a timely manner for all the involved parties involved in the transport of goods. In the center of this ecosystem, the token is OPN. This is compatible with the ERC20 standard and will be used for validating smart contracts, micro rewards, access point, and staking. Based on the white paper, the price of a token in the sales time would be 0.50 US dollars. The team behind this project is formed of founding members and director board, which splits between councillors and the OEL Alliance, which could both be private individual or an organization. The foundation is led by top organizers, experts of the resupplying industry and blockchain, who use their resources and talents to build this ecosystem better. So this is the web page here. The website is oel.foundation. Here you have the navigation menu. Let's go to the about section. Their overview, mission, enterprise architecture, OPN token, roadmap, and the open port. These are their social media links. The next will be the leadership. The governance chart. Their team members. Advisors, partners. 
the alliance. They go into some more about their token. The resources, you can download the white paper here, their infographic here, their frequently asked questions. And you have the contact page, the blog, and the telegram here. In conclusion, this project holds a tremendous potential which comes as a much needed solution in an industry which needs to modernize. You can read more details about this project on the website oel.foundation or by reading their white paper. As always, I highly encourage you guys to do your own research. So we've reached the end. If you found this video helpful, give us a like, hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell for newer videos. You can find us in Telegram at CoinInfo News to keep up with the latest news about blockchain and cryptocurrency. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.